Hey there, so in this video I'm going to show you how to simulate a long press or long tap on an HTML, HTML page um, using JavaScript. Um, Java is not my favorite language, but if you want to make web pages, you're going to have to learn a little bit of Java. So let's get started here. So basically, I, I'm just going to explain to you, it's a lot like a bomb in this case. So when you make, when you, when you make a bomb, it has a timer on it, right? So if you don't deactivate it within that number of time, that the, the bomb will go off. And that's what you're doing. You are actually making a bomb and you're making a deactivation uh, function to deactivate it. So basically, um, oh, let's get into it and, and you'll see. So first thing we need to do is just, let's make a button, uh, something simple. Input button. And let's give her button a name. Let's call it um, well, value. That's how we give it um, you know, a name. Let's call it uh, button, button one. So there's no confusion. So right here, button one. There we go. That's what. We do. So we need to make three. Uh, well, in here we're gonna make three um, um, uh, like events. And but we're making we're only making two functions. One function is to for some for for us to do something. And the other function is to deactivate. Well, the one function is to make the bomb, and the other function is to deactivate the bomb. So here we're gonna use on mouse down. So when you, as soon as you click the mouse down, it activates this function. So um, let's call it, um, well, let's call it do something. Do something. There we go. We got our function there on mouse down, right? But we need two more, uh, two more to do uh, for, for our purposes, for our purpose sake. So we can use on mouse up. And we're going to call this function clear func. Actually, let's call this one over here func as well. I like to name all my functions func. Clear func. And the last one we're going to do is on mouse out. And same function clear func. There we go. So here, as soon as you click the mouse down, it activates the bomb or function in, in this case. And then as soon as we release our mouse, when we release the mouse, it clears it. It sort of deactivates the bomb. And same thing, if the mouse is outside of this button, it also deactivates the bomb, in this case, the function. So let's make our function. Function. I like doing all my JavaScript into my HTML page. I don't like making a separate page for it. So the way you do that, you type in script. And there we go. You have your JavaScript inside your HTML page. Uh, let's just call it JavaScript. This is just a comment. It doesn't really mean anything. It's, when it's when it's like this, when it's in highlighted in, in dark green, I mean it's, it's just a comment. JavaScript. And inside our JavaScript, for, well, first thing we need to do is um, we need to make a global variable. And the way you make a global variable it, is that you make it outside of the a function. So let's okay. First, let's first make the function. Function. And we call their function do something. There we go. Function do something. There we go. There's there's our function. And you probably need our our other function is the clear one. It's a clear func. There we go. Here we're two functions there that you only need two functions for this to work right again we have our function here or do something function and then over here we have our clear function on mouse up and mouse out okay so we need to make, like I said earlier we need to make our global variable and uh, all you need to do to make all you do need to do to make the global variable is to make a variable outside of the function so I typically I just do it right here right above below the script I start the script I'll call long press and that's it. That's all you need to do. This semicolon here is just to indicate that it's the, the um, that's the end of the code line. Okay. Now let's do something. Let's uh, so inside here, uh, we're gonna we're gonna make a timeout um, function. So it's time. It's called long press. Because we need to the reason I'm using long press. So typically we we do something like a set uh, set timeout. 
And then we have our function inside here and then a timer, which will just give it like, I don't know, let's say uh, two seconds here. And that, that and typically our function goes inside this space here. But we also have to give this a very because we need to clear we need to deactivate this function, so we need to give it a variable name. And we made our variable name earlier called long press. So long press equals this timeout function here, right? And then over here in the clear function, we need to deactivate this timeout when we release the mouse or when the mouse is outside of the box. So we go long for uh, we go clear clear timeout and we just put in long press and that's it that's the, all you need to do for that uh, so just so you know inside this space here you can only put functions you can't put anything else you can only put functions inside here so what I'm gonna do is well let's just do this so let's do that there and let's put a function inside here Like you can you can make a function outside and reference in, in here, but I don't like to waste space, so I'm just doing a function inside this, inside a function, just just to make things clear. A function inside a function, and so this function inside a function, I'm just gonna do alert. It's something simple, and you, you can do anything you want, but I'm just gonna do something simple. I'm just gonna so, say test, and that's it. That's all you need to do. That's everything you need for a long press. So if you um, okay, so let's let's just test it out here. So if you look at button, if I click it, click it up and down, nothing happens, because I'm I'm essentially clearing the timeout when I release the mouse or when I move the mouse when I move the mouse over outside of the button. However, if I click on mouse down, if I click on it and I don't release the button on here on mouse down and I don't release on it, it, it doesn't it doesn't clear. So the so it would activate this alert. Let's try it. And it works. So there's your long press, and uh, that's about it. You can actually do anything here. So let me just uh, make this a little bit more cleaner so you can see what's going on. So here, here's your function inside of a function, and uh, yeah. So the magic is going to happen. Everything inside here, this space here, that's where you want to do all whatever you want to need to do, whatever you want to activate or whatever you want to get. Um, yeah, and that's it. That's all you need to know. Okay.